Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Makiyam. Yeah, what's your mission, Brakadam? All right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhagadash, the to the apostles, and the elders, the great millstone, peace, salutation to the Akiyam, to the elect, that are scattered across the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth and faith to sincerity. And Shalom to you all. I'm the brother Shamala from the GMS Houston camp. In this lesson, I'm just going to be going into Romans 8 and 28 on down, you know, through the Spirit. You know, um, so let's just get straight into it. Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Most High. And this is what you have to believe in. If you love the Most High and you truly, you know, want His will established. It's like when we say the, uh, my Father's, uh, our Father prayer. Um, that, you know, Yahweh Shai, when we taught the disciples in Matthew 6, he says, that, that will be done on earth as in heaven. You see? And if you truly love the Most High, which the scriptures speak about what love is, the keeping of the commandments, um, and, you know, we do that to the best of our ability, right? But, you know, the, that's love, right? Doing what the Lord wants you to do, all right? And if you got that type of mindset, man, the, anything, any plans that the Lord has for you is good. You see? Man, let me get... Um, Jeremiah, what is that? I think I believe that's twenty nine and eleven. Jeremiah twenty nine and eleven. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an unexpected end. So hey, the 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 thoughts of the Most High towards us, man. We are that number. Hey, it ain't he, he not thinking evil towards us, right? He not thinking evil towards us. You see, but hey, towards the rest of the world, towards the rest. You know, the wicked of our people, right? Man, the, the Lord got an evil eye towards them, and the Lord is going to judge them. Right? Especially the wicked of our people. You see? It made me think about this other scripture. Evil do. Because the Lord, you would say, he's going to watch over Israel, right? To do evil unto them, just as he uh, did good unto us. This is it, uh, 2 Kings 8 and 12. And Hazael said, Why weep my Lord? And he answered, Because I know the evil that thou wilt do unto the children of Israel. They stronghold without set on fire, and a young man without slay with a sword, and will dash their children and rip out their women with child. So this is basically what the Most High did through this man. Right? Coming up against the children of Israel, but he had an evil eye. And these things are going to happen again. Right? The Most High is going to do evil. Right? But hey, it's like it says, Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said Yahweh, thoughts of peace. I right, so the Lord, if, hey, if you if you are that number, man, you doing what you're supposed to do. Hey, man, the, the Lord, He is, like I said, looking at you with favor, right? Mercy, grace. So, in, in the midst of all this hell and all these things that are about to take place, the Lord is going to favor you. Psalms 91. All right. The Lord had the angels count them around about you, like it says in the Psalms 34. All right. Peace. That's what the Lord is. It's, hey, the Lord is going to grant unto you peace right? because, you know, you kept his ways, basically. All right. But Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the most high, to them who are the called according to his purpose and we were called to do the work of the ministry for the edifying of the saints right for the edifying of the body like it says in ephesians the fourth chapter all right so we would call for his purpose to push forth this word to to, to spread the names of yahweh by yahweh shai to gather the believers for whom he did foreknow he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son Right, for whom he did foreknow, just like he foreknew Jeremiah, he foreknew all of the prophets. Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou came as forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. All right, so he knew us. Right, he doing, the Lord already knew that what we were going to be doing, he already knew what we were going to be set up to do, because he established that before we even came 
out of our mothers before we was even conceived in the womb. The Lord already had a job, a particular duty for our spirits, a particular role to play on the planet Earth. And when we came here, we we fulfilled it. Uh, we are fulfilling, I should say, right? And it's just all of the will of the most side. It ain't nothing that we knew that we was going to do. You see, because if it was up to us, if it was really free will, we wouldn't be in this thing. And we would be in the world probably somewhere fucking getting drunk, right? And being being a, a whole-ass nigga somewhere. That's, 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 that's the only words that came to my mind right now. <laughs> you see, we, we would be, you know, totally disobedient, right? But the Lord called us into this thing, and he, he gave us that faith. Right by hearing his word, and and by hearing these scriptures, by hearing Yahweh shot, which is the word, right? The scriptures speak about Psalms nineteen, about the law of the Most High, it's perfect converting the soul. Hey, right? hey, when we heard all these these words, man, we were converted. All right, because hey, the Lord put it in our spirits. All right, to, for for the elect, man, the, this this truth. And this word was already put, like, put in us. It was already, like, instilled in us to believe in it, right? We are one with the word, with Yahweh Shai, right? Just like we was with him um, in the beginning. If we were the elect, we was with him in the beginning, you see? So, the elect are forever joined to Yahweh Shai. It says, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate, Right? Predestinate, meaning to destine before. So destined to be conformed to the image of his son, to be like Yahweh Shah. So it was already destined for us to be in this position, right? Coming up out of the um out of that out of this dead state and changing our ways to be more perfect, to changing our ways to strive for perfection, which that perfection is Yahweh Shah, to measure up to be like him. And it says that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate them, he also called. All right, so the ones who the Lord destined to be in this thing, right, before the earth, before time was even established, right, he called them into this truth. All right, but he says, in whom he, also, he called them, he also justified. And being justified is a big thing because we all have sins, you know, worthy of death, right there that are upon us that we have done, right? But through the blood of Yahweh, those things are going to be washed away, cleansed, right? So that's the only way to get justification is through Yahweh, right? If you don't have Yahweh, you are not justified and you will have to pay for your iniquities. It says, in whom he justified, them he also glorified. So, what is the glorification? The glorification is the kingdom of heaven. The glorification is when he says, hey, I will make your name a, a, a praise in the earth and get you fame all over the world, right? You're going to boast yourselves in the nation's glory. You're going to uh, take the riches of the Gentiles, right? All of these things, that's, that's being, it's being glorified. Right, on a high level. He said, what shall I say then? He said, what shall we say then to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? Right, so the Most High be for us, who can be against us? What can you do to us? Just like it, 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 in the book of Acts, when, you know, you had the, what the, the high priest, chief priest, right? Basically like the Sanhedrin, right? People make people coming up against uh, the apostles, Right? And Camilio, he was like, hey, man, look, we've seen the history of these things, man. Um, look, let's look back on history. And, hey, look, when this man rose up, hey, he he got taken out of the way, right? He failed, right? Spoke about Judas rose up during the time of taxing, right? And he led a rebellion. That shit, that shit failed. It was like, hey, man, listen. If these if these men if this is of men it's gonna to come to naught but hey if you build the Mosai you will find yourself fighting against the Mosai all right so 
And you ain't winning no, no battle with the most high. Nobody can. All right? Because if the most high is on the outside, who can be against you? They go for everybody. All right? Anybody on this planet Earth. All right? Even demons. The most high for you, what can they do? What can they do against you? There, there's no no plans that you saw got, right? No, no, no plans of him overcoming you or killing you or doing this and that. Man, all all of these things that he coming up with, if the Lord don't want him to touch you or do anything to you, it ain't gonna happen, right? No matter what these what type of plans these people devising or you no know, whatever they got in the works, right? Everything works for good to them that love the Most High. It says, "He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? It is the Most High that justifies. So you can't see, you can't look at anybody of the elect. Oh yeah, man, he, you, you used to do this, you did that, man. You, yeah, you can't, you can't say shit about the elect, man, because they're justified." Right, of course, before this truth, we did some things, right, that we are ashamed of, right, and even coming into the truth by us not not being perfect, we're gonna fall short, we're gonna fuck up, we're gonna learn from all our mistakes, right, but you ain't gonna be able to bring up none of that, right, none of that's gonna matter, okay, said the elect gonna be found without fault before the throne of the Lord, you see, it says, Who is he that condemneth? It is. Yahweh Shah that died, yea, rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of the Most High, who also make an intercession for us, right? The mediator, he's the one that's talking on our behalf. He's the one that's making sure we straight, right, with the Most High. It's like a peace offering would do, you see, or a sacrifice. Yahweh Shah was that sacrifice. He was a peace offering. Man, he was all of that. And he's making, he's establishing that peace between us and the Lord. I mean, between us and, and the Most High, Yahweh. Right? For when we fuck up, for when we sin, for when we go off, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Is that tribulation, or the stress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Right? What's going to separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? What's going to separate us from this truth? Like I said earlier, I mean, the, the elect is joined to Yahweh Shai no matter what. Until death, even in, even in after death, all right. So you can't separate the elect from the house. Child. What Peter said, Peter said, "Man, where we where, where we gonna go? And right, you got the words of eternal life." This back when some of his um, followers departed from him because he's because of the parable when he, when he, that he spoke about or the hard saying when he said, "Eat my flesh and drink my blood." All right? They didn't understand what he was saying. And they they basically forsook him, and he told he told Peter and them, hey, so what you gonna leave me also, or y'all gonna leave me also? And Peter's like, man, where we gonna go? You got the words of eternal life. Basically, like, it ain't no other choice. What we, what can we do? All right, and only the elect gonna understand that. <laughs> but nothing, tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, or nakedness, peril, or sword. And these are all these are great things to 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 go through and endure and to suffer. But is any of these things going to be able to, to take the elect from you? How was y'all? Hell, fuck no. All right, no. All right. These are, in the times of trouble, um, prayer is supposed to increase. You see, faith is supposed to increase. That's the time to, to use the, 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 the faith, you know, that we always talk about going into Hebrews 11. And it's, that's, it's time to believe in the Lord. In times uh, to believe that he gonna do what he say he gonna do that he gonna protect you he gonna feed you, right? All of these things. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter, right? We catch hell, man, all the time, bro, all the time, right? It says for thy sake, that right? you being in this truth, you gonna catch hell in this world because you trying to walk a, a a righteous and godly life according to the scriptures and everything around you is contrary to that, so. Man, you gon' you gonna catch some hell. Right? Especially Ephesians six talk about the principalities, right? The rulers of darkness talk going into these 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 demons. They gonna be fucking with you. Right? It ain't gonna be no easy walk. Right? It ain't gonna be easy. And you just gonna 
have to get used to it. It's like a warrior when he go to when he go to war. A soldier, like, bro, you gotta get used to getting shot at and hearing explosions and doing this and that. That's 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 your life. Right? And this is a spiritual war for us. Right? You gotta know. All right, that these things are coming. You got to you got to know how to combat these things in the spirit. All right? And in their hardness as a good soldier. You see? It says, "Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us." Right? It's like Paul said, "I can do it all things through Yahweh shall strengthen me." We are conquerors. All right? We conquer all of this shit, man, because hey, we know that it's not worthy. All right, none of these things are worthy enough to take us from Yahweh Shah. Nothing. For I'm persuaded that neither the death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Yahweh Shah, our Lord. So nothing, nothing that you can name, all right, is nothing that exists Basically, what he's saying, there is nothing that exists that can separate us from Yahweh Shah, from Yahweh Bosh, from Yahweh Shah. Nothing. All right? And this is the type of mindset we got to move in, man. There ain't nothing that, that can happen. No woman, no no job, all right? Like, no single person, no situation, all right? Not a demon, not just nothing is able to come and and detach you from the Lord. Right? No matter what happens, you see. Hey, and 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 this type of mindset is gonna win, right? When when all hell breaks loose, when there's nothing, you know, tangible, when people lose all their tangible things and. You know, materials and materialistic things and money and all, all this shit you go to waste. What you gonna have? Faith. That's it. All right? So, and this is this this type of mindset is gonna shine in that day. The Lord said, I should make a man more precious than fine gold. All right? And the minute of the Lord is gonna shine in that time because this is what we've been preparing for. All right? So, you know, that's the lesson, man. I was just edifying with that. I was just shallow warm. To you, I can't mean you are